What's going on guys? It is your boy Forever One Ghost here coming back at you with a brand new Dokkan Battle video. Now I know I haven't been uploading as much, but I felt this one. <laughs> this one needed it. Um, first and foremost, shout outs to Dokkan Art for this HD art. And of course a lot of the information coming from a lot of other people from Kuwait, from Renzi, from DPG.Space, and a lot of other people. If I've forgotten anybody, please let me know in the comments below. And I will 100% have no problem giving them credit because of course I am a humble person. I will try to give the credit to all and those who have provided information for this video. But let's get right into it guys. Holy smoke a biscuit. LR Yamcha. Now I'm not surprised by this. In fact, I'm actually quite happy that he's here because I, I for one, know that, yes, he, we were always trolling about Yamcha. Ooh, he's useless. What are we going to do with him? What category would he even be put on? Why would he even be made in LR? I would have been more happy if it were Krillin or uh, or Master Roshi or even even Chi Chi, for all I know, <laughs> you know? Um, but no, they gave the Japanese side of the, of the Dokkan Battle side, of course, not global yet. Um, the opportunity to go with this character, and I will read you the stats here in front of me to... Nope, that's not it. Good thing I checked. <laughs> His leader skill and what he can do. His combination is a category leader. It's what it is. I've seen some of the cards and characters that he can do. Uh, category leader combination, key plus three. HP and second is plus 100. Uh, his super attack is Wolf Fang Fist with 12 to 17 key. If it's 18 key up, it's, it's stronger. Obviously, you know that. Uh, causes colossal damage to enemy and lowers defenses. Causes mega colossal damage to enemy and, and massively lowers defenses. So I'm guessing that is the second one. And then the first one's the one with the 12 to 17 key. Okay, I got it. So uh, his passive kill is the Wolf's Weakness. Attack and defense plus 20,000 when performing a super attack. Plus an additional attack and defense. Plus 10,000 when performing an ultra super attack. Stunned when facing a Peppy Gals category enemy. That's actually pretty crazy. I mean, at the same time, yeah, it looks to be that if he ever faces a Peppy Gal girl, he'll immediately be stunned. He will be useless. So, that's obvious because he's just like Master Oshi in a sense. Where if he sees a girl that's pretty cool, cute, he'll immediately freeze up and just be like, whoa, oh my god, you know what I mean? But again, that's what it is. So, um, the art I do like, at least, I see the Wolf Fang Fizz, I see Kua, uh, Kuar, who is there with him, and um, it's awesome, this looks great, the art looks fantastic, again, once more, thanks to Dokkan Art for this, and everyone else that I've mentioned, like Huey, uh, Renzi, and everyone that's already spoken of this, and it, it just looks awesome, I am definitely excited to see this opportunity, to see this character here with us. You know, check out his leader skills and stuff like that. Um, I know that Global is getting future uh, Gohan category, which is the future category. Uh, I can't wait for that. But let's talk more a little bit about Yamcha. How many of you guys are hyped to see Yamcha? And if you guys are hyped to see Yamcha coming to Dokkan Battle as an LR, slap a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are excited. Um, my opinion, personally, like I said before, I definitely wasn't expecting it. I was expecting to see an LR Krillin or even like a Chi Chi or somebody of a significance. Now, I'm not saying Yamcha doesn't deserve it. But I also felt like with everything that's going on now, with Transformation Goku Black that's there, um, and seeing a lot of other new units coming around to the JP side, including some other characters that are being added into it as well, it's just a lot of hype. Especially with the Broly movie coming out uh, this December 12th uh, in Japan. And then of course in January 16th we'll see it on the global side here in the US, everywhere around the world obviously. Um, but I'm sure a lot of us are going to try to catch it on, on the JP side or the deputy side and watching this stuff however way we can possible. Um, I will hope to see if we can find something again, not illegally, legally, remember that, nothing here illegal, legally, if we can find it and purchase it somehow, legally, great, but if you don't find it legally, don't even mention me, <laughs> let's, let's make that very clear, um, I do want to see the movie, so I'm hopefully, am hoping to see a chance to get the chance to see it, but if I can't, then I'll wait like everyone else on the 16th. But I'm sure everyone's already gotten the gist of how the movie's going to go. Um, of course, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone that doesn't know or does not know. But if you guys do want to know, I'll let you know in another video once it does kind of settle in and we've already all seen it. But anyway, guys, I'm excited to make this video real quick for you guys. I'm happy that I get to do another video. Uh, I will try to be more consistent. If you guys want to see more consistency from me, please let me know on Twitter. After everyone goes. And as always, guys, big thank you to everyone here supporting my channel as I always try to upload as much content as I can. And also, I want to give a big thank you if they if they do see this. Gamer Blends, you guys are absolutely amazing for giving me the opportunity to work with you guys. I have a coffee blend that's being made. Um, it's coming out on the 1st of January of the new year. So make sure you guys check it out. I will announce the flavor of the flavor that I've chosen on the 1st of January. So make sure you guys use 
code ghost there and of course sword dog as well another great company that i work with it makes my apparel that's uh of course use code ghost for 10 percent off from those two companies um their stores will open for the gamer blend store for the coffee on the first of january and sword dog is always available so you guys can purchase as much apparel as you guys please but as always guys stay awesome stay blessed keep playing dokkan battle